Hey, what's going on guys? So today I'm going to give you guys an update on the purple planet reef tank rack here. So here's just an overall shot of the whole system. So let's start off with some good news and then I'll go on to the bad news in a little bit here. So with the good news, the Zoas and the tanks are doing amazing. I ended up having to frag a bunch more Zoas, mainly the Utter Chaos and the Sunny Ds. They're multiplying like way, way faster than the other Zoas. So I'm getting to the point where I'm having a lot more Zoas in the tank here. So I'm going to probably end up uh, looking into trying to sell these guys online. Most likely I'll post them on the website. So right now I'm doing a little bit more research into shipping costs to try to make it a little bit more feasible for people. Um, and then also the packaging side, you know, to make sure that these guys are going to stay alive uh, throughout the trip. Just keep an eye out on that, so I might be posting that on the website. Another positive thing about the tank is the Coraline Algae. Man, the Coraline Algae is insane in this tank. I remember setting this up like a year ago, and the Coraline Algae kind of was really slow. I kind of missed the Coraline Algae from my old tank where it was like kind of covering all the sides of the walls and whatnot. And so, you know, this year it just started to really, really take off and really, you know, do so well. It's getting to the point though where I need to keep up with the front wall scraping. If I don't scrape it, uh, it starts to like get crazy. Like it's getting to the point where the corner is really hard to scrape off. So uh, yeah, I need to like get in there and just like remove a lot of these and just kind of upkeep this once a week or something. But the colors and the Coraline algae, the purple, it looks so, so nice. And then I'm hoping for it to cover up on the rocks, um, but it's not really doing it that much so there's no new addition into the tank the tank has the same livestock i'm not planning to do any new additions in this tank i think you know we have plenty of fish plenty of livestock the only thing that i may add up in here is snails uh, but the snail counts right now seems to be you know pretty well because the algae on you know any of the tanks are very low and wow the macro algae in this tank is like next level like the sump is always full the uh, macroalgae on the top tanks are starting to get there. The one on the left has always been kind of low uh, in terms of macroalgae growth, but uh, the one on the right has always been growing, and it kind of had a pause for a couple months, but now it's starting to pick up again. So I'm really happy because I can actually use a lot of these macroalgae to feed the tang. The tang actually loves eating the macroalgae. And then whatever I have left over, I normally either sell it off locally or I sell it off online uh, just to kind of keep it down and kind of trim it a little bit here and there. And of course we always have to show the Colorado Sunburst anemone here. This anemone is still growing guys. For the last month or so it's still growing. It hasn't split. It's just getting bigger and bigger and bigger. This thing is ginormic and it's looking beautiful. All right so let's move on to the bad news. So the bad news is my Mock Inferno anemone bleach. And here's the weird thing. So I have three anemones in this tank. You have the Colorado Sunburst, which is doing amazing. It hasn't, you know, had any issues. And I have two uh, Mock Infernos in here. And both of the Mock Infernos bleach. For whatever reason, only those two bleach out in the whole tank. So with the setup, what I do is every month I measure the parameters. And based on the parameters, whatever I get, I adjust the dosing. And mainly it's been alkalinity that I have been dosing pretty much a weekly basis. And uh, every other month or so, I would dose the uh, magnesium. But other than that, it's not really that much of a difference in terms of the tank because all of these guys are soft corals anyways. It's not like I'm you know, growing SPS or anything like crazy. So last month, my ALK actually read a little bit lower than normal. Uh, so for the whole month, I actually increased ALK just very slightly in terms of the dosing. Um, and I think that might have caused these anemones to bleach just because they were probably used to lower alkalinity levels for a while and then all of a sudden it's getting like a small boost uh, in alk. So that might be it, but the thing is like my Colorado Sunburst had no signs of this, you know, no signs of bleaching. None of my zoas, obviously the zoas are a little bit harder to get to bleach. Uh, my mushrooms, same thing, they're actually really hard to, to get to bleach, but yeah, it's just strange. Hopefully I'll bounce back in a couple months uh, as the parameters in the tank kind of stabilize. I've been kind of dosing the tank with a little bit more um, vitamins just kind of help um, some of the corals grow a little bit better and hopefully get the anemone to bounce back and get its color again. Alright guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this week's update. If you guys aren't subscribed yet, make sure you guys are subscribed. And like always, to the next one guys. Peace.